What's up, YouTube community? It's your boy T here in 18. You're hopefully your favorite Instagram comedian, goddamn favorite YouTube comedian, goddamn hopefully upcoming star. Hopefully, that funny nigga in VA. A lot of people was like, you know, they missed the story times with T Harris 18, whatever, because I used to do a lot of story times on uh, Snapchat. So I did one for YouTube, and a lot of people. It's crazy because I get more people telling me keep doing this, that, the third than I get, you know, views. But I think it's more because. The people who watch it show the people around them, and then the people around them find me and tell me, like, you know, keep doing this, that, and the third. So I feel like it's like that. Whatever y'all do, uh, keep doing that. I love that y'all doing that. Thank you so much. Let's get on to the story. This story is about my first bad experience with the most beautifulest girl I've ever dated. But it didn't work out. And that's why I tell people... A pretty face ain't what it's always cracked up to be. And yeah, I got so much hair. I don't know what the fuck to do with it. I got it in two goddamn... Ah, oh shit. I got it in two goddamn buns. What the fuck? Okay. Let's start it off. So, we met at this place called Shore Pump. Shore Pump, let me get you an image in your head. Shore Pump is a luxury outside mall that a lot of people go to. And I don't understand why everybody loves it. I, you know, I... I I actually love it, but at the same time, I hate it because it's an outside mall. If it's raining, you're getting wet. If it's real cold, you're fucking freezing. If it's too hot, you you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You're getting heat strokes. So, we met at this mall called Shore Pump. We walk in, we walk in, you know. I go to the Apple store because I'm like, you know, I think I'm thinking about buying a new iPhone. I went straight past the Apple store because I was like, you know, I'm not about to pay all this money for another phone. I'm fine with what I got. Let's not be ungrateful. So I'm walking, I'm walking around, I finally come to, uh, you go up the escalator, make a few turnarounds and curves, and I went to the store lids. So I saw a, this this pretty face walk across the, um, the glass door, and I'm like, yo, who the fuck was that? So the guy at the lid store that works there was like, yo, I don't know who that was. I saw that too. I was like, yo, hold this hat for me. So he was like, yo, I got you, my man. What you about to go pull up? I was like, yeah, I think I'm about to go say something. Usually I don't say nothing to girls. And well, back then I used to. Now I don't, you know. I just look at you and be like, god damn, you cute. And I keep on about my business. Because like I said, pretty face ain't what it's cracked up to be. But yeah, like people say, unless you get to know him. So I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm looking for him. I'm like, yo, I cannot find this girl. Because it's like as soon as I hit the door, I hit the turn, she's gone. Like, there's nowhere to find her. So I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm going to H&M. Uh, I'm going in, um, what's a what's a, what's a girl store uh, out there? Uh, I can't think. Urban Outfitters. Well, that's an everybody store. But, you know, places a girl will go to and stuff. I'm going to places like that. I'm looking. I cannot find her. So I'm like, I go back to Liz. I'm like, bro, I cannot find this girl. I, I walk into Liz, and, and I'm talking to the dude. I'm like, yo, I cannot find this girl. Bro, I said, I said, oh. And I had a collar shirt on. I was like, pop my collar. It's about to get, it's, it's coat time. So I'm like, hey, how you doing? She was like, hey, how you doing? I was like, look, I, I know a lot of niggas probably try to holler at you and stuff, and I don't want to be a burden to bother you, but I just, like, you know, I just want a moment of your time. She was like, yeah, that's fine. I have all the time of the day. So it started off cool. She was nice. The vibe kicked off right there. You know, I get turned on as soon as the vibe is there. If I feel your vibe and it's cool, you know, I get turned on and I, you know, we can see what happens. Time goes on, we get her number, exchange numbers. We on the phone late at night. We fall asleep on the phone. We doing our miss you texts. Uh, what you doing texts? Uh, I want to see you texts. We cuddling. You know, we having sex. Yo, yo, first of all, before I even get to the sex part, Lord have mercy. We was chilling watching uh, some movie that didn't involve sex. But like I said, her vibe was so cool. I was getting so turned on. You know, it just sparked off. Everything was happening, right? So we had sex. We had sex, okay? Sex. So, we, you know, we had sex. And after that day... 
Uh, I had to work that next day. I never told her my work schedule. At the times, it all my my work schedule was falling into play, which I didn't really have to tell her because we was always on the phone or something. But then they changed up my schedule, and I had to work at times. She was available to talk, so we had to. We was like we were talking like less less days and stuff, and you know she was getting mad, and, and you know she was like. Uh, some, some, I miss you, this, that, and the third, where you been? Mind you, she knows, she knows where I live. I miss you, this, that, and the third, da, 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 da. So, one day, I went to my car, because I was about to go to work, and I see her car, you know, coming down the street, but busts a U-turn, because I guess she saw me coming out, and I'm like, <sighs> I wasn't informed that she was coming. So, a, a, a phone called me, and she was like, uh, you know, hello, this is so-and-so, I'm not gonna say, this is so-and-so, friend, I was just calling to see if you guys was alright, I was like, yeah, we're alright, you know, why are you calling my phone, actually, we alright, she was like, some, some, she felt like you fucked her, and after you fucked her, you just left, and I was like, well, I didn't really want to fuck her on the first night, but you know what, it happened, my work schedule changed and all this, so I don't be having time to talk to her, I try to find time to talk to her, and you know, and then, you know, we're going on back and forth, and I'm like, you know what, this conversation is going on a little too long. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, a man. I'm, a, I'm a man with less words and little words, so I'm just call you later, or I'll talk to you later about it. So I hung up the phone, and I go to work. I don't know how she knew where I worked at. I think, like, she might have asked, like, one of my homies or something. Maybe my, I, I never went around asking, but she showed up at work while I was in work. I get to my car, I see a letter on, on my windshield. I'm thinking I got a damn ticket. I'm like, yo... Why I got a ticket? Now I got to go to driving class, that boring-ass four-hour class that I got to learn about shit that I already learned about and I'm already doing. So, I look at the note and it's like, um, I missed you. Where have you been? I don't receive phone calls, text messages. I miss... She gave, uh... If you are under the age of 14 and never talk about the birds and the bees, I advise you to stop looking at this shit right now. She said she missed the dick. I was like, you know what? I really like this girl. I don't want her to feel like I'm playing her. Like, let me call her. I was like, yo, you know, my work schedule got changed. And I, I feel bad because it's like we talking less now and I don't want that to happen. And she's going off on the phone like... Nigga, that's bullshit. You just saying that because you fuck and that's all you want to do. You just like these other niggas out here. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, I understand that she's mad, but where did this side come from? So then I'm driving, I'm driving, and I look at my rearview mirror. I'm bumping music. Like, what was I listening to? I'm just making up a song I was listening to. I'm bumping, um, kidding. Time after time, yeah. The love that we make and it's so amazing. Time after time. I'm looking at my rearview mirror. Like, yeah, I see the license plate. I'm like, God damn, motherfucker, like, I must be tired, man. I need to go get to some some rest. Time after time, the love that we make, and it's so amazing. And the car get closer, like, it's tailgating me. I'm like, yo, who is this? I look in the goddamn window, it's my girl. I'm like, <sighs> I pull over to Wawa. She keeps going. I'm thinking she's going to pull over with me. I'm calling her. I'm like, yo, where you at? She said, I'm at home. I said, hmm. What you at home doing? She said, I'm eating, watching TV, thinking about you, wondering where you at. I said, mm, mm. You got an image of where I'm at? She said, mm, no, but you probably at some stove. I was like, mm, mm, okay, cool. So mind you, I go places, like I said in my last uh video story, I go places by myself. I go to the movies, I go out to eat, I go to the mall. I went to go eat by myself. I went to Friday and went to go eat by myself. Okay. Turns out I was on a date. I get there. Mind you, she knows that I love Fridays. I get there. <laughs> I sit down and it's two menus. I said, I said, well, I already know what I want. Here you go. I took both of the menus and he was like, oh, no, nah, um, it's a girl that's supposed to be coming here. Uh, I don't think she ordered yet. I said, no, it ain't, but I came here by myself. He was like, yeah, okay. So he didn't take my menu. So I'm like, bro, get your big ass back over here and take this goddamn menu. I know what I want. Take my order. He was like, all right, I'll take your order. I'm just waiting on her. I told him, I said, yo, I want chicken tenders, fries. Give me a cup of barbecue sauce on the um, side. Give me a Sprite. 
And they don't have Sprite, so they say Sierra Miss. I ain't not grateful. So, um, of course, he turns around. He was like, yeah, that should go right there. I turn around, and that should go right there. Eating. And, you know, I'm asking, I'm like, like, why, how did you know I was coming to eat today? You know, what are you, like, this is starting to get creepy. I told you I'm going to make time for you when I can. I was really working hard on trying to make time for us. I wanted us to have a big-ass date, right? This is not the date I was fucking expecting. So, you know, I'm like, what are you doing here? It escalated from that. And she was, like, showing me a side I've never seen before. She like, you stupid nigga. Like, making a scene, yo. She's like, you stupid nigga. You, um, you don't appreciate a good girl in your life and you ain't nothing but a dumb motherfucker and this that and the third I'm like well, you want to make a scene huh I said let me tell you you ungrateful bitch. sit down I paid for our food and you gonna sit here and call me stupid and you gonna call my son retarded I'm lying and shit I'm, I'm really trying to make the crowd on my side cause she was making the crowd mad at me I was like you gonna call my son retarded when I sit here and I take them every week, I pay the motherfucking bills, huh? And you only see them twice a day, huh? What type of mother are you? So I, I, I asked her to wait it. I said, "Oh my box, man, what my box? I pay for, I pay for the ticket. I'm like, what my box? I put the food in the box. I took the cup of barbecue sauce." And I storm out the building, right? She storming behind me. What was that in there? I said, bitch, you almost made me look stupid in front of everybody. Everybody was ready to fucking beat my ass because of you. So I changed the tables on you. Bitch, you about to get your ass whooped. So everybody looking out the window. I'm like, now look, they looking out the window. I'm about to make a bigger say. So stop following me. If you want to be in my life in the kid life, then come on. She was like, what are you talking about? I was like, you never know what I'm talking about. So I storm in the car. She gets the key out, right? I'm like, whoa, I've seen too many black movies when a black lady take the key out and she start keying shit. I was like, yo, I love my cars, man. Cars are the way to my heart. You are not keying my car. So I took my shoe off. I didn't have this shoe on, but I'm going to use it as if I said, hey, you bet not. You bet not. The ladies came outside. It was like, hey, hey, it's not necessary. Stop, stop, stop. Here come the police. I said, look, officer, look, I ain't got nothing to do with this, man. I don't even know this lady, man. She tripping, man. She trying to keep my car. I ain't got time for this. He was, she was like, I know him. That's my boyfriend. I love him. And he's playing games. The officer looked at me. He's a black guy. He's like, I said, but I'm working. Okay, she's not understanding. I work. He was like, man, look, I understand. I got a wife and two kids at home. Look, you get in your car. You go ahead. I'll take care of this. He was like, ma'am, ma'am, da 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 da. Next thing you know, it's been about two to four weeks. We stopped texting. I deleted her number. I blocked. I blocked her on social media. She only has my number to get in contact with me. She texted me and said she misses me. Uh, around the time I lied to you, now I moved to my father's house. Uh, she happened to find out that I moved to my father's house. And uh, knocks on my door. Now, mind you, I don't know who's knocking on my door. I open the door. It's her. I said, mm, okay. And 911, uh, it's a stranger at my door that I don't know who it is. And I'm a little afraid. She heard the conversation. I shut the door. I opened the door. She's going instantly. She's probably going to look at this and, 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 and probably hate me for the rest of my life. You know what? It's all love. Uh, you know, it's just to entertain people. So hopefully, you know, she look at this and laugh. This is TRS18. Thank you guys for the love, like, subscribes, the shares, the support, all that good shit. The people who I do see support, trust me, when I get big, I promise you, I hope that I still have this shit. And I will come back and I'm going to be like, hey, this is yours. This is yours. You can have this, this, that, and the third. Thank you guys for all the love, support, the subscribe, the shares, the likes, the, the dislikes, the fucking support, and all that crazy shit. This is TRS18. Hopefully, I'll come to y'all with a third story. Holla at your boy. Yeah!